How's it going? I'm Kevin Kowalczyk and welcome to Revolution Martial Arts. Hey guys, the Ageless Phoenix Traveler here, and I'm with the world famous Kevin Kowalsik. Okay, Sensei Kowalsik, uh, can you tell us your rank? Yeah, I'm a fifth degree black belt. I've uh, achieved a fifth degree black belt in Tung Soo Do and a third degree black belt in Shotokan. Oh, awesome. And uh, so, one of the things I was reading about you was you're actually a descendant. The, your grandmaster trained Chuck Norris. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. My instructor originally, um, his his instructor, so our grandmaster, was the instructor of Chuck Norris at uh, Osan Air Force Base in Korea, which is really cool. It kind of got Chuck Norris first started in martial arts. And have you ever met him? Have you I did get to meet Chuck Norris actually at the Super Show last year. He's probably the nicest, most humble, most amazing man I've ever met. Like the perfect example of what a real martial artist is. Well, have you ever met um, your grandmaster as well? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. I got to train with Grandmaster C.S. Kim a lot. So. Oh wow, wow. And so, uh, can you tell us about um, your background in sport karate? Jet, we're we're doing a video. You got to get out, buddy. Shh. <laughs> that will be in editing. Edit. Yeah. Okay. You want to ask the question again? Boys, go. Get out of the nasty. Shh. So. Um, can you tell us more about your contributions to sport karate? Like, how do you think that you've helped it grow? Sure, definitely, yeah. I started out doing a lot of like XMA, extreme martial arts stuff, uh, Mr. Mike Chat. Um, I took the traditional stuff and kind of added some of the extreme stuff. I competed a lot in NASCA and NBL, uh, WKC. Last year was my last year winning. I won my ninth world title competing with WKC. Um, and I'm trying to evolve uh, sport karate as a fighter. Um, a lot of fighting right now is just very traditional based as far as like you're either a kickboxer, either Muay Thai style or a point fighter. I'm trying to kind of fuse the gap between the two yeah. and kind of create a new style of uh, sport karate and fighting. Nice. So um, you, you have a lot of titles there. I, I, I you know, I, I see them. Uh, I'll, I'll, have the, I'll have the picture next to us above. And uh, it looks like you have tons of titles, tons of awards. Can you tell us some of the titles that you hold in your school that you have on the on the uh, on the case? In there? Sure. Yeah. The the three gold medals are from the last world term at the WKC World Championships. It was in Dublin, Ireland, last October, um, in, in uh, 2018. I won three gold medals, and then I won the men's overall, which is the black medal, which is really cool. So that's kind of special to me. That was my last you know sport karate tournament before going into full contact. Oh wow. So. You know, I've been watching, we've been following you, and we've been watching a lot of your, uh, your fights and your training, and uh, can you tell us more about, like, what what do you think the, the major difference from sport karate into full contact? Yeah, definitely. There's a big transition. Um, sport karate, guys, I mean, it's all about point. It's yeah. all about just touching, clearing the distance as fast as possible just to get that point where full contact guys like to sit in the pocket and try to crack power shots and bang power shots in there. So for me, it, fusing the two, creating uh, my own style to where I can close the gap quickly with that speed from the sport karate right. and also have power um, is, is a very, very different dynamic uh, look to full contact fighting. So it's, it's, uh, my next opponent is going to be in well, there's a, I, I feel like both of us are sport karate fighters. Absolutely. You know, I was a sport karate fighter as well. And I think that you can easily um, contribute that. You have that speed, you have that athleticism. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And most, I, I feel like a lot of MMA guys don't have that. But would you agree in, in a lot of ways? I'm not saying that they're not great fighters. I'm saying no, they don't definitely. have that explosive. Definitely, yeah. I mean, if you look at some of the great UFC fighters that come from a karate background, like Lyoto Machida, um, you know, those kinds of guys, uh, Wonderboy Thompson, um, these guys come from a point karate background. Um, so having that explosive ability to explode in, that, that speed, covering distance very fast yeah. um, is an amazing thing. And one of the things that makes, I feel, martial arts different than just MMA fighters is the respect. Yeah. You know, having that respect for your opponent, that true respect as a martial artist, 
um, is, is really something that's special and different that sets us apart from just MMA guys or anything yeah, else. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the things I, I noticed watching your, your fighting style too, it's, it's very dynamic and very, uh, very, you know, movable, that you're constantly using your athletic movement. Can you explain what's your training regimen to move like that and have that type of ability? Sure, yes sir, yeah. Usually I wake up, I run a few miles every morning if I can. Um, sometimes it's hard with kids, we have four kids, so it's yeah. kind of hard to juggle everything, but usually I try to get a few miles in. Um, I'll come in, I'll do about four or five rounds of kickboxing on the bags in the morning, weightlifting, strength training um, at the gym. We'll go to like local gyms, lift weights, things like that. And then usually in the evenings, just getting sparring rounds in. So um, between teaching and family life, the rest of my time is really filled with training. I train as much as I can. I see. And so one of the things that I feel like a lot of martial arts school business owners struggle with is trying to balance, you know, staying in shape. You know, I've gained a few pounds myself, and um, and you know, running their business. What type of advice would you have for school owners that actually own the business? Yeah, one of the biggest things is you have to remember that you're an example of the discipline that you're trying to teach. You're an example of. Um, you know, being an athlete, a martial arts athlete, a martial arts student, you know, I, I think some people sometimes in the industry, they get the idea, the mindset that once they get their black belt, that they're, they're not a student anymore. And it's, you know, you're always a student, you're always training. And, and if you're always training and you're always challenging yourself, whether it's, you know, in the gym or off the gym, mentally, physically, whatever, um, if you're always challenging yourself and pushing yourself to your limits, then you're always going to grow. Right. So that's really important to me. No, that's that's really good, great advice. So you have a a martial arts school called Revolution Martial Arts. Can yes, you, sir. Can we talk about that? What is that about? Yeah, the whole idea and concept was I wanted to revolutionize what we're doing in the industry. Um, I think it's super important to respect tradition, but embrace. Uh, the creativity of the XMA and the martial arts right. and, and where the martial arts is evolving. Everything's always evolving, everything's always growing, everything's always changing. So we wanted to revolutionize the industry, we want to revolutionize uh, sport karate right. for us here in Colorado and, and not just be like everybody else. Right. Well, I, I know this, you know, uh, I, we had a, a brief conversation about Mike Chad. Yes. And um, you'll, you'll see a highlight video that I'll, I'll show above. Um, and you train, how long did you train with Mike Chad? Um, off and on doing camp chats and doing private lessons here and there, tournaments and stuff. He was a huge inspiration to me as a kid when I was coming up in the sport karate world. Um, I grew up only doing traditional martial arts and that's where kind of the evolution of the martial arts took over for me was going to NASCAR tournaments and seeing guys like Mike Chat and being inspired by the creative side, the XMA side. Um, being a guy that grew up only doing traditional, right. um, my instructor could only teach me so much. Right. So he set me out to train with guys like Mike to learn how to evolve as a martial artist myself. And now I kind of try to carry that on with my students. Right. Um, so the other thing, you know, karate combat is yes. coming up. Okay. And, uh, you know, it sounds like you have a new camp, you have a new, you know, you have a new environment. Can you talk us, talk, you know, without giving too much detail of your Sure, training, yeah, absolutely. Can you, can you talk about, you know, what you're changing in the way that you're training and preparing for your fight? Absolutely, yeah. Karate combat's amazing. They're the world's premium, like, full contact karate. Right. You know, full contact karate organization, um, which is giving martial artists, karate guys like us, a platform to be able to fight full contact and take our sport to the next level, which yeah. is amazing. Um, I've been training over at Factory X. And all the guys over there are just savages. You know, you've got guys that are signed to UFC, Bellator, Glory. I mean, you walk out of the gym to, to spar, and everybody's a pro fighter in their right. own organization. So um, the caliber is so high, and steel sharpens steel. So training with some of the best in the world, I'm very prepared for my next fight. So I just I want to ask this question because you know, without being so sensitive, you know, so you're sparring with these guys, right? And they're rough and tough. How do you prevent from not getting injured in, in that sort of sparring matches and you're constantly like Yeah, moving? Yeah, definitely. Um, as I'm getting older, I've learned uh, to train smarter, not harder. Yeah. Um, we do spar a lot of light touch rounds, a lot of flow sparring, but we do have rounds where we get the cage and go after it. Yeah. Um, 
So there, there is definitely rounds that we spar that are heavier and harder, but I think training smarter now, uh, again, everything evolves. So even our training, uh, we, we, we spar a lot smarter than harder now. We kind of save the hard rounds for when we get out there and, and the fight really matters. And what would you say is your advantage uh, going into full contact? Like what would you say? That? My advantage over most of my opponents is they don't have the speed and the quickness that I have. Um, I'm able to cover the distance quickly. I have different kicks from my XMA training. I have different 540s and 720s and aerials and back nines and different tricks that I can implement into. Uh, so I don't think any of my opponents have ever seen anybody that's gonna move the way I move stylistically. Do, do you think that um, fighting full contact um, will help your as well in general as a, as a reputation or is that um, another motivational thing is why you're doing it or is it a personal thing for you? It's a personal thing for me, you know, I, I don't see fighting helping or hurting my, my business as a martial arts school owner. Um, to me it's all about challenging myself personally as a martial artist because I want to see how good I really am. I want to challenge myself against the best in the world. I want to constantly compete and evolve. And I feel like I've won everything there is to win as far as sport karate goes. So this is the next avenue. And I want to leave a legacy that my kids are proud of, that they can look and say, that was my dad, you know? No, that's amazing. Um, and uh, so you're going to be possibly fighting in my hometown, born and raised in Las Vegas. That's right. Uh, and I own a school called Ageless Martial Arts out there. And, uh, you know, uh, can you tell us about that fight that might come in Vegas? Um, we're still waiting on the date. They're still lining up opponents. We, they just had a fight last night. So there's a lot of things that are still in play. Yeah. Um, but I know that there's a venue that we have now secured and there's going to be some fights coming up in Vegas very soon. So fight fans, get ready. We'll contact Karate's coming your way. Awesome. So anyways, uh, thank you guys uh, for tuning in. This is Sensei Lorenzo from Angels Martial Arts. I'm in Denver at Revolution Martial Arts. That's right. And this is... Kevin Kowalski. Thank you guys.